Good morning from Paso Hill Spaniels. It's uh, a lovely bright morning. Lovely blue sky up there. Beautiful blue sky. No clouds whatsoever. But I think you can see that there's something missing from the trees. Leaves. They're all down there. Well, the last of them are anyway. Except for our lovely beautiful chokeberry tree over there. Lovely berries on. Still waiting to see if the wild grouse come in and start eating it again. And also our French lilac over there. It's not bothered dropping any leaves yet or even changing colour. So that's interesting. Anyway, then I'm going to go for a wander through the woods because we had a bit of high wind a few days ago and I haven't gone this side or checked anything. Well, here comes a boogie. There she is. Here comes an Eric. There we are. There's an Edward. They've just eaten. So you may see Edward going around sucking ears because that's what he likes to do. Anyway, so we're off on our travels around the trails. It does look different, doesn't it? Really looks different. Right. So, starting on Stilton Saunter. Welcome to all the new subscribers. Hello, thank you for joining us. The more the merrier. We do like to have people with us. We like company. Yes, we do. What are you up to? There you are. You're eating all those, are you? They've all gone off that way somewhere. Yes, hello, new subscribers. Lovely to have you here. Oh. Just excuse me while I clear things out of the way. There we are. So good. We can check our fence line while we go. It's a bit chilly today. Well, this morning's a bit chilly anyway, compared to other mornings. It's uh, pl it's still in the pluses, which is good. It's uh, plus what is it? It's plus three at the minute, and it's nine o'clock in the morning on Thursday, the twenty fourth of October. I think what the date was. Huh? This month's going quickly as well, isn't it? Very quickly. Oh, there's a tree down there, but that's on the other side, so that's okay. There's a Swissy. How are we doing here? Good. So how's everyone's doing? Hope they're doing all right. Hope you're having a, a good month, good day, good part of the year, all that. There we are. And if you're this side, I hope the cold isn't affecting you too much. If you've got aches and pains in your joints, like most of us have these days. Hope your arthritis isn't playing up too much. Or fibromyalgia. Or anything like that. Hope it's keeping in its place. Every time I see the teddies up on there, I keep thinking they're on the other side of the fence. They're not. It's, they're running the fence line. Yes, Swissy, we're coming. We'll hear the birdies. It's lovely. Yeah, so I hope everybody's doing well and keeping well. And if you have got a little bit of pain, I hope it goes soon for you. I know with my experience of pain with arthritis and fibromyalgia and all that wonderful stuff, it's not nice. But I find, I keep telling myself, especially when it's getting too bad, is if if I didn't have any pain, I wouldn't know I was alive. So there we are. And I'd rather have pain and be walking, especially this side of the, of the soil, than not. So that's what I tell myself anyway, I know. It's, <laughs> it's kind of false hope there, but keeps me going. There. Are we all getting ready for Halloween? Have you seen some of the spooky tales that we've been doing? 
I may do another one tonight and put it up tomorrow. And then I may do one on Halloween itself. We'll see. Or the day before. And put it up for Halloween. We'll see. And you can... If you haven't seen it, they're on our channel. Go have a look. They're called Spooky Tales. Spooky Nighttime Walks with the Spaniels. And it's all... Well, it's not all of them, but it's some of the spooky things that happened to us when we lived in the Tower of London. Yes, we lived in the Tower of London. My husband was a beef eater. He was, he'd done his 22 years in the British military and he was invited to apply, which is quite unusual because normally people just apply, but he was invited to apply. And then Her Majesty picked him. Her late Majesty picked him along with everybody else in HR and uh, he became a young awarder. Queen's ceremonial bodyguard, gentleman in extraordinaire, young awarder or beef eater. And for those that don't know, the beef eaters are the ones that are permanently at the tower and they wear the blue uniform with a flat top hat. I know that sounds silly. It's a flat top hat and their blue uniform is a really, really deep blue. It's almost black. And they've got... <coughs> Hello. It's rather apt with a raven going over, talking about the tower. And they have a red stripe going down the outside seam of their trousers. And their tunics are um, edged with red. And on the front we'll say CR now, with a crown. King Charles, whereas before it was ER for Queen Elizabeth. And that's the beef eaters, and they are retired from the military. Whereas the other ones that you see with the bearskins, they're still in the military, and they're various guards. They could be Colstrom guards, Welsh guards, Irish guards, Scots guards, Fusiliers, Grenadier, all of that. Excuse me, I've got sniffs. So anyway, yeah. So the spooky tales are just some of the spooky things that happened to us when we lived in the Tower of London. You can go and watch those. And the moonlight and torchlight walks that we do. Look at all this, you can see the next door. See, you can see my next door neighbour now. I've got the fencing up. Go around this way so you can see it. I have to check down here anyway. There we are. Yes, so welcome to our channel. Thank you for coming along. I say the more the merrier. Please share with your friends. There's lots of videos on the channel with the Spaniels. Love Spaniels. Absolutely love Spaniels. So are we ready for Halloween? So only next week. That's a week today. Wow, a week today. Amazing. Look at this, look. When we were walking this in the summer, you wouldn't have known anybody was anywhere because of all the leaves on the trees and shrubs. But now, now you can see things, couldn't see them before. Oh, some logs that I need to come down and get. The Eden project. I think we'll do Boogie all the way today. I've got a feeling that's the way the teddies have gone anyway, so I'll go find them. And have you all started getting ready for Christmas? Yeah, that's soon upon us. I know we haven't had Halloween yet, but I am always thinking about Christmas. I love Christmas. Christmas is my thing. I love it. I've already made Christmas puddings for this year. Yes, I make my own. I don't like store ball. Ever since I made my own, I've never bought a store one since, and I don't intend to. Sorry, just clearing up after the teddies. As they will decide to leave little presents 
where I normally get out of the vehicles to open the gates. <laughs> there we are. Right, I think we're good there. Yeah, so I make my own, I make my own mincemeat as well. And I make it teddy friendly for the mincemeat and the Christmas puddings. So I'm not recommending that you feed Christmas pudding or mincemeat to the, your Ferg children. But should they end up with a little snippet of mince pie or a little bit of the Christmas pudding, it's you haven't got to worry. You haven't got to rush them off to the vets or anything. There's nothing in there that will really harm them. Excuse me a second. I just realised that that's come down. Oh. I won't be surprised if Lucy had a hand in this one. Oh, put this over here. There we go. There. Better. And it's also vegetarian friendly. I did make a gluten free one once. Christmas pudding this is. All mincemeat is gluten free. And if anybody wants the recipes, shoot us an email, which is in the description. Parsley Hill Spaniels 762 at gmail.com or leave a comment with your email and I'll email you the recipe. How to make it, you still have time. I say about six weeks, really, to let them mature, but you can do it with four weeks to spare. And it'll still be nice. And the great thing about Christmas puddings and mincemeat is they just keep for years and years and years. And the long, the older they are, the better they are. The better they taste. So I always use last year's mincemeat for making mince pies. This year's mincemeat will be put away and stored until next year. And actually I've made five Christmas puddings. I've given two away. And I've got one that we'll use this year, and then I've got two for the next coming years. Really easy to make as well. There's something very satisfying about making your own. But yes, so I've done that. Written out all the Christmas cards, you just got to post them. I see you, Lucy. I'm going to be wrapping Christmas presents soon as well. I love how the teddies just, they know these woods backwards. Absolutely, they know everything that happens in these woods. And yet, they still, Swiss, thank you. They still have a wonderment. Look at you, what you got in your ear? You're not gonna let me take it out your ear, are you? Come here, he's got a stick stuck in his ear. Yeah, they've, they've still got this wonderment every time. Look at him. Yeah, I know, it's in your ear. Is this going to be a two-handed job? It is, isn't it? Oh, it's not out yet. No, it is. Thank you. <coughs> Excuse me. Yeah, it's it's a wonderment to them. There's new smells every time they come down. doesn't matter if we take a walk now. I'm removing another tree. Why? You see her doing that? What did that hazel sapling do to you? Ever? There's nothing wrong with it either, it was living. Oh. Just trying to manhandle. Oh, there we are, right. Yeah, I've been up to something. Anyway, the wonderment that they have, I, it's wonderful. I, obviously, otherwise it wouldn't be called a wonderment. But they're always amazed at the smells and what's been going on and... I love it. Absolutely love it. You are a vandal, Lucy. Look what you've done. Oh, the only good thing is it's hazel, so it'll grow back. Pop it up there. There we are. And she's done. Come on. Off you go. Your aunt did. I'm going through there. Oh, God. Sniffs again. Sorry. 
the road. So it is quite close to our southern part of the property. But you don't hear anything because there's nobody on it. Just go, oh, tree over there, come down, see it? Oh, it's leaning, I should say. Like that. Come on then. You come? Go on. Yeah, so it's... I love how everything fascinates them. And they're always so happy. Makes me happy. And she's vandalising another stick. Look at her. Wait. Oh, we've got a tree down there. Can you see? Oh. Just a second. No, tried to move it. Sorry for that little break there. Tried to move it. It's a bit heavy. Can't move it. Tried it. Nope. Not going anywhere. Have to get the chainsaw to that. Come on, Teddies. Even though they tried to help me with this. Because they're so helpful, aren't they? There we are. What are you up to? Off we go. They're getting the uh, outside Christmas decks up soon. I'm putting them up outside. Do that after Halloween. And then it'll be starting on the ones indoors. Swiss gets so happy at that. He loves Christmas. Absolutely loves it. Actually, Adelaide does as well. Wherever she's decided to go, I can hear her barking at something. Still no sign of our crocs, or my croc. The majors is still missing. Was hoping we'd see it, but it's still no sign. Anyway, I think we'll go off on a cheesy crescent. Come on, Vicky Mama, it's a good girl. The Major had surgery yesterday that we weren't expecting. Well, not so soon. Oh, that one's down as well. Look at that. Um, so he's uh, resting up today. He's okay. Um, it was classed as an emergency surgery, but he's okay. Oh, oh I can move this one. Oh, she says can't actually move it. I pick it up. I can't really... Oh, yeah, I can. There we are. There, how about that? Oh, clever me. There we are. Don't know my own strength. That one's out of the way anyway. There we are. Um, yeah, it was classed as emergency surgery, but it's not as in he was at death's door or anything. He had a surgery on his right knee. his knees are um, what's the polite word there is no polite word his knees are buggered from all his military career and um, yesterday they did an emergency surgery on it on his right knee and took away all his meniscus which is all the stuff that keeps his kneecap and that working nicely so he's now got bone on bone until they do a replacement. Swiss wants Boogie to play with him. Yeah. That sun's lovely, isn't it? But he's good. He's He'll be fine. Had to do a dressing change on him today because it was a little bit bloodier than it should be. But I'm used to it doing dressings for him, changing dressings and the bloodiness of things when it comes to the major. Teddies are trying to help him as well. They all keep coming up and sniffing his knee. Look at that. So much different, isn't it? Than, what, six weeks ago? So much different from the two weeks ago. Wow. Off we go. Yeah. So that's what's been happening for us and what we're going to be doing, or what I'm going to be doing. Just bought a new Christmas tree as well. And Swiss is 
looking at it. I haven't put it up yet. <laughs> I do love Christmas, but it's not going up yet. Not until next month. It's rather heavy. <laughs> so I've had to bring it up in stages and leave it in the living room until I actually put it up and start decorating. Of which, like I say, Swiss will help me and so will Adelaide. I... Why are you trying to eat that now? Okay. There she is. What were you barking at? She still thinks there's apples down here. Oh. One. Little one up there. One little cherry apple. Yeah, one little cherry apple. Oh, well, that's going down. Look. Wow. There we go. Boogie's after the birds. Swiss! She doesn't need a hand, thank you. I know, Gladys. I know, I know. You're so lovely, aren't you? Come on. You're all lovely. Yes, you're lovely too. Come on. Come on. Up we go. Come on. Come on. Yeah, I know. Chimpkins are in there, Edward. Huh. They're in there somewhere. There they are. Skachansky. Some of them have decided to do their molt now. We're like, well, weather's getting colder, a bit silly. Don't mind. Go and check the chimpkins in a second. I'll go in there. Have a look. Come on, you. Of course, teddies are thinking they're birds again and eating the bird seed. Oh, we've got zoomies going on. And the wind's just picked up. <laughs> Lovely. Come on. Off we go. Come on. How about we go get biscuits? Come on. Come on, Adelaide. Adelaide, come on. Come on. Yeah, I know. It's bird food. Come on. You're not a bird. Come on. Come on. Oh, hairy eyes. Come on. Come on, then, you. Off we go. Looking back on some of my photos from last year, and this time last year we had four inches of snow. It didn't last, it was only there for a day and then it melted and went. And we have had a sprinkling of that dreaded white stuff, but it literally looked like frost. Eric over there. Eric, come on! Come on, Adelaide! Here comes Lucy Lulu. Oh, where's Nutkin? Where's Nutkin? I can hear you. Which tree are you in? Oh, there you are. Let's see if... Here he comes. There he is. Or her. Okay. She's not happy. She's put another mushroom up here again. Sorry, I can't see very well. The sun's in my eyes. There we are. On there. She's got another one. Come on, Lucy Lulu. Let's put this back. There we are. That's properly. There we go. There we are. Well, hope you enjoyed your visit with us. We enjoyed your visit with us. Like I say, if you've got any comments, please leave them. We will get back to you. The teddies uh, tell me what to say and how to reply, because obviously they can't type, they don't have the manual dexterity. Or if you want to message us properly, please do so in an email. Parsley Hill Spaniel 762 at gmail.com. Oh, look at those come off. Love to see to those as well. Come on then. Uh, no, we don't need that. Wait. Hello, Edward. Edward. Thank you. Yeah, in we go. Right. Hey, we're back round the front. So, until the next time, from Parsley Hill Spaniels, have a wonderful day, wonderful rest of the week. Hope to see you all soon.
and happy snips everyone